are you doing, sir? What's up, brother? I haven't seen you in a little while. I know. How's things? It's good. I'd heard you banned me from doing junkets. I'm glad I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> We'll see, how today, we'll see how today goes, man. You're always on thin ice with me, Steve. Yeah. Uh, believe me, I, I understand. Um, so I, I got to start with, the, for me, it's pretty amazing that Liam Neeson over the last decade has just become this big action star and people love watching him kick ass. Mm -hmm. What is it about Liam that people love watching him punch people in the face? I think he's like, I don't know, there's something kind of paternal about him, which we all trust. Uh, but... Uh, I don't know. He's just a bad motherfucker at the same time. And, uh, and I think it, it works, you know, he's a big old strapping, handsome lad. And, uh, and uh, he's got that, um, he's got that amazing voice, that great vocal quality that we've all kind of come to love. And I don't know, he's just kind of one of those stars that delivers on what we want from him. And uh, I think he pushes it enough to kind of keep things really interesting, but, but doesn't stray too far away from, kind of what we hope to expect. And uh, and so fans stay loyal to that, you know? And um, yeah, I mean, look, when when this script popped up, you know, it's the kind of thing that you read and you go, it's, it can't, it's what, you know, couldn't be written for anyone else. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I was thrilled to kind of be invited to come along and, and, and play the villain to his hero for sure. I, I have to wonder what it's like actually filming, you know, scenes with Liam uh, in between takes, are you like geeking out with him at all as a fan? Because he's been in so many like cool projects. Do you know what I mean? I usually just leave him alone uh, in between takes, you know, because uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's uh, I don't know, yeah, a little bit, I guess. You're always like swapping stories as actors on set. I mean, funnily enough, uh, in Honest Thief, there's not too much time that we're actually in the same room. Uh, even though uh, I'm chasing him for a portion of the movie and then He's chasing me for a large portion of the movie. Um, you know, I actually got particular enjoyment out of the fact that I got to have some phone call conversations with Ian, uh, uh, with Liam through the thing because of, uh, you know, how much we've come to to love his iconic uh, phone calls. You know, when that's happening, that the shit's going to hit the fan and the people are going to get hurt. And uh, I was uh, I was I was thrilled to be uh, on the end of, of, of a couple of those for sure. Is there something when you're making a movie that you really enjoy? whether it be the action scenes or the dialogue scenes, or is there like one part of the process that really resonates with you? I mean, not in particular. I think it just changes film to film, uh, project to project. You know, sometimes it's really about uh, mining through the complexity of what your character's dealing with, whether it's like a moral kind of issue, an ethical thing, um, emotional stuff. I mean, like, you know, depending on what it is. I mean, shooting love scenes is really challenging at times. Um, I've had to do intimate stuff like that over the course of, of uh, you know, the short time I've been working. And, and sometimes that presents a lot of challenges. Sometimes it's really tough action that just creates, um, I don't know, a lot of work for you to do physically and also, the you know, from a choreographer, uh, uh, choreography standpoint. So, um, yeah, for this, I mean, it really like lent itself to that. I got to say, it was kind of interesting to go back to some action stuff. I haven't done it for a minute um, and get busy with some choreography. There's some great tactical work that that Anthony and I got to do and, and try and keep that stuff authentic and and some cool fight scenes as well. I have a great fight with, uh, with Kate Walsh's character with Annie, uh, which is kind of brutal. Um, but it was a lot of fun, you know, it always is. And, and when you put the work in and keep everybody safe, um, that sort of stuff can, can be a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, you were in Alita, but you were uncredited. Uh, what was that about? <laughs> they wished I wasn't there. No, um, <laughs> it was, uh, what that was about was I auditioned for another role in the film, uh, and it didn't, it didn't go my way. Um, but I built up a bit of a rapport with Robert Rodriguez through that process. And we'd met prior to that as well. And um, he called me up, they were already in production. And he said, I got this part. Uh, it's, it's pretty small role, but if the thing kicks off, I'm going to need to cast someone who I know I can go back to if we reprise it. So um, would you, would you do me a favor and come on down and do it? And so I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, I thought that movie was great. And I really wish it had made more money at the worldwide box office. 
Yeah, I look, I mean, it's it's always tough with one of those kind of things. It, it, it was visually amazing um, and kind of cool. I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know. It's hard to predict what, what, what audiences really have an appetite for and, um, you know, the timing of certain things. It's I'd love to do another one. I'd like, I hope that they can work that out and, and uh, it was profitable enough for, for, for them to kind of want to, but um, we'll see. Obviously, before I run out of time with you, I, I have to ask you about Suicide Squad because I couldn't be more fucking amped for that movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know, Steve. Wait, what? What do you want to know? Uh, I, I'm, I know you can't say too much, but I, what was your reaction, um, like reading the script for the first time? What surprised you about James Gunn's script? What surprised me? Um... I don't know. I mean, there's, it's, it's a big ass movie again, as was the first. Um, it's cool to see a bunch of new characters uh, and, and characters that he's plucked from kind of the depths of the canon, um, which is cool uh, and just kind of different and interesting. He, he, I mean, James likes creatures and monsters and things as well. So it was kind of like, I don't know, I felt like there was an injection of that sort of stuff um, with this, uh, this take on it. Um, it's very funny. Uh, and I don't know, man. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's kind of what you come to expect from this kind of film. Um, but, uh, I don't know people are going to have a great time with it. It's, it's sad to see some of my, my castmates, uh, not involved, but also, uh, I'm so thrilled to, to welcome a whole bunch more in. Um, and I think it frees up kind of the direction in which, this franchise can take, you know, it, it's kind of like crack things open in a way that I think we now won't know what to expect next time. Uh, and I think that's cool for something like Suicide Squad. Um, it's not necessarily even a strict sequel, uh, I guess, is, is, is the truth. And so, I don't know, it's, uh, it's different, man, but it's, it, people are going to have a ball with it. And, uh, and I hope it's, you know, massively successful. I'm, I'm very confident that it's going to make what we call money. I hope um, so. yeah pretty confident um joel kinnaman talked about how he had to like hone his comedic skills because he's not really like um he's not really done comedy before but in the first film captain boomerang you know brought a lot of laughs um is it similar in the sequel for me yeah i mean i think it is i think it would have been a shame to kind of run away from from that side of boomerang uh for sure but uh i'm glad to hear joel say that yeah i think he he got to have a little more fun with with flag maybe this time around is um He's, uh, he's, you know, his kind of delivery on stuff shifts up a little bit and it was, it was fun to see him doing that and, and certainly fresh for him. And um, I don't know, Boomerang's the same shitbag liability we came to learn about in the first one. And, uh, you know, he's, he's out there causing trouble, as you would expect. I saw those behind the scenes videos and uh, shit looks amazing. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, hey, listen, congrats on this. So happy to see you again. And I uh, wish, wish you nothing but the best. Right on. Cheers. You too, Steve. Appreciate it.